Uh, do you care to share what was exchanged with you guys at that point? I don't. I don't know now. I don't remember. Um, I I know. I respect her a lot. I know she respects me a lot. Um, it's always an awkward fight week because I I can't talk to opponents. I can't be around them. I'm, there's no friendly piece to that for me, you know. So um, as soon as it's over, it's almost like the embrace gets to happen. And like I know how hard I worked. I know how hard she worked. Like we went to war, and you know, there's there's something there, you know. In that. It definitely looked like a sign of respect. Absolutely. Uh, at any point in the fight, uh, when it had gone to the judges, what was it that was going through your head as you were waiting the decision? Um, I knew I did a lot more damage than her. Um, and when she got into good positions, she kind of just held position. She didn't really do anything with it. And then when I got into good positions, I did a lot of damage. Um, so, you know, I can see why she would be disappointed um you know she, it was a very big adjustment for me her being so tall um you know i felt like as i was trying to throw these kicks at her i was aiming you know above even my head because she's so much taller than me and and that kind of made it weird for my stance and my posture which kind of took my own feet out from under me you know so you know i i feel like she did a good job and i did a good job i think when it came down to the decision it, it really came down to damage hey cat Cade morehouse with the combat lounge uh you look great tonight you got caught in some bad positions and were able to get out of them did you expect this fight to have this much grappling in it leah said before the fight she doesn't really grapple that much um so how did you feel she held up in that department oh i thought i heard before the fight that she said that she does grapple a lot um but uh yeah it was kind of weird it was kind of weird knowing her pedigree and my pedigree in that it was kind of judo jujitsu versus wrestling jujitsu and um i didn't really know what to expect i didn't really know what to think uh especially with her size and how um how that was going to turn out so you know i just tried to go in open-minded and you know i trained hard at what i trained at and um some of it worked some of it didn't you know so uh it was Ultimately, it was a good fight, and I felt like, um, yeah. Maybe, maybe I misunderstood her, but you you have fought the best of the best. Where where does Leah rank amongst them now that you guys have shared the cage together? I I don't know. Um, I I feel like I don't know. I, that's a hard thing for me to gauge right now. Okay, what when would be an ideal time to to set up that title fight? I mean, I'd like to keep momentum. Too much time in between fights always feels kind of weird and and to have to go back into like almost forgetting how it feels and and getting out of shape and like that valley between um, you know, uh I I guess the training for it, it can be tricky. So ideally it would be cool if it's within like the next six months, something like that. And then and then last one for me, uh you you've been around a long time, but like I said, fought the best fighters in the world. Uh, if you if this win does grant you a title fight, is this the last title run that we'll get from Kat Zingano? Or do you feel like, you know what, I have more left in the tank for, for years to come? I mean, it's punch by punch, fight by fight, breath by breath at this point. You know, um, I I like what I'm doing. I'm still having fun and I'm still good at it, you know, so it's, you know, where it's at. Congratulations, Kat, on a hard fought victory. Thanks. Hey, Kat. Um, the other day you mentioned uh, the last years of your uh, 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 career starting with this fight here. Um, when it's all said and done, whenever that day comes, what kind of stuff do you want to be remembered by? Such as that insane scream you did after the, um, the uh, whose fight was that? uh i made a new nest fight yeah that scream was awesome um i don't know i don't think about all that you know uh i'm it's still very present still very you know right now and um yeah i don't know i don't think about that okay and uh it seems like you uh became kind of friendly with leah um are you still gonna have that beer with her i think so i don't think i i don't i don't think we're doing it out of a shoe or whatever happens over there but yeah I, I i like her i respect her um 
you know, I, I, I think she's a badass and she's, um, you know, very worthy opponent. Good to see that you guys made friends uh, and congrats on the win. Congratulations on the win, Kat. It was an awesome fight. You two were going back and forth. She would have your back. You would take her back. Talk about the grind throughout that fight. Does that fit into your mentality, your style, more maybe than hers? Um, moments felt weird. You know, it, it was, I knew that it was a, you know, again, it was, it was grappling, um, judo wrestling, jujitsu, all of that. And um, there was points where I was kind of like, which sport are we doing right now? You know, uh, I know there was kicks in there. I know there was knees in there and elbows in there. And um, it just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of happened. It just kind of, you know, everything just happened. It looks like she caught you with one good punch. Uh, I don't know if we could call it being dropped, but she got you with a good shot. Do you remember this punch? I felt really awkward with how tall she was. Like, I, I felt, I, I don't feel like I got caught hard with the punch. I almost felt like I was on my heels and got pushed backwards and landed on my ass. You know, it, not to take away from the punch, but there's things about her length and her reach that like, I did not expect that I didn't, uh, I, I would say I prepared for, but I really didn't have anyone as tall as her around. So some of it was just kind of shocking to me. She has a lot of body. She had a lot of uh, distance and trying to time that with kicks, trying to time that with height. Like it, it was definitely a challenge for me to try to figure that out on the fly. It seemed to me that the biggest difference between the two of you in this fight, when the judges were considering it, was damage. You inflicted tons of damage on her. She was wearing it. Can you talk about what separates you from these other women? Because from the outside, it seems to me that there's a mentality difference. When you get on top, you're trying to hurt them. I mean, it's that. Uh, I don't. I don't get in here for fun. I don't get in here just to participate. Like I really want to win, and I know partying. A part of winning means you you have to hurt people and you have to cause damage. And, and I'm always looking for those cuts. Like I'm always looking for the blood. I feel like a shark when that happens, you know, and um, there are moments that I can honestly say I take personally in there. If someone does something to me in front of all of these people, like I want to get them back, you know, so that, you know, makes me, you know, think and readjust and, and move into positions to, you know, get my lick back, you know? You got the win. What is next for you? And why don't you tell me what is the ideal situation for Kat Zingano? What would you like to see next? This fight was initially uh, offered to both me and Lee as a vacant title fight, you know, um, which would have been awesome. You know, it's, it's cool to see myself still in that number one position right now. And uh, I really don't know what Bellator is going to do that for right now. Um, it seems like it is a vacant title. It seems like there's nobody important above me at the moment. So uh, I guess we just have to see what happens with that. Hey, Kat, right over here. Uh, you've achieved just about everything there is to achieve in this sport. So many, you know, everything. I'm wondering how much do you credit Mr. Ed Soares for how you've <laughs> accomplished in this fight game? <laughs> uh ed is like this big uncle brother support friends you know that i've had through everything hard you know um and everything good and uh, i don't even want to get emotional i might get emotional but he he was around before i could uh even get into the ufc you know before they were even figuring out if they were going to do this thing with women you know and just came to the gym. I, I think it was the WEC days. He was bringing Jose Aldo into my gym and um, we were all having crazy rounds and having food after watching fights. And it, it was just such a like, such a culture. Ed is a culture in himself, you know, and it's it's been a, a really supported, wonderful journey. And the hard times have been easier because of Ed and the, the good times have been a wonderful thing to share. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks.